If you ever find yourself feeling like life is completely unfair and your problems are more challenging and difficult than anybody else's, then this video is for you. Sometimes your problem is not that you have problems in your life, but that you think that your problems are somehow worse than everybody else's. I get it. It's your life, and so you're in the middle of it, and you're the one that feels the pain of all the pressures and challenges in your life. So they're very special to you. Today, we're going to break down why your problems are not unique and why that's actually a good thing so that you can start to move forward in life. So if you're ready to get unstuck and overcome these obstacles and learn to endure them with more strength and grace, this video is for you. Hey, welcome back to the channel. My name is Tom and today we're going to talk about your problems and how they are special to you, but they're not all that special and why this is actually a good thing to help you be able to find the strength to endure your problems, your challenges, and actually to begin to overcome them. All right, let's start at the beginning. We all face challenges in life. Everybody's going to face some difficulties and some hardships. And sometimes those can be very extreme, uh, sometimes for just a short season of your life, but we're all going to face hardships and challenges. And if you've ever fallen into the pattern of thinking that your problems are worse than everybody else's, nobody could possibly understand what you're going through, you get stuck in thinking that your problems are different than everybody else's, it's definitely going to move you downhill. It's easy to fall into the trap of believing that your problems are unique, different, and more difficult than everybody else's. And when this happens, uh, you don't feel like anybody can understand really what you're going through. But here's the real truth. Your problems are not unique and special. The real problem here is that you think that your problems are unique or special, that there's something different about you. You shouldn't suffer like everybody else suffers. You shouldn't face challenges and hardships and obstacles in your life. That's the real problem, is that you think that you're somehow unique and different and special. And unlike everybody else, you shouldn't suffer setbacks and hardships in your life. This belief, this mindset will hold you back in life and keep you in a pattern of self-pity. And as long as you're in that place of self-pity, you can feel justified in not taking action because no one understands how difficult it is for you. Today, we want to flip that narrative so that you can see things from a different perspective and be able to take action to move forward in your life. Guys, I want to begin by saying I'm not trying to pick on you. I know that your challenge is difficult. I can't even begin to imagine what you're going through. People face relationship problems, marriage problems, family dynamics can be so difficult sometimes. Financial stress right now, the economy, I get it. it life can be overwhelming. And we didn't even mention physical challenges. I mean, there are people that really suffer and maybe you really suffer with some physical limitations or challenges. I'm not trying to minimize what you're going through, but I want to give you some hope and some encouragement. You're not alone. You can make it through this. You're a lot stronger than you really think you are. I'm certainly not trying to minimize what you're going through in life. Look, let's face it. Your problems are real. I get it. I can't even imagine what you're going through, what your challenges are. Your problems are real. They're just not unique. Everybody goes through problems. Everybody faces hardships and challenges. Some people a lot worse and for a lot longer than you have. So I'm not trying to tell you that your problems aren't real. I'm just saying that everybody faces challenges and you can't let those problems define your complete personality. You're bigger than your problems and you need to remember that. You need to realize that. All right, the first point that we have to make is everybody struggles. Everybody faces obstacles. Everybody else in some way faces challenges and hardships just like you do. So you're not special. You're not unique in this. That person that you admire, that you look up to and you think, wow, that person's so strong. They, they've got so much going for them. They have so many advantages. The reality is, is you have no idea what they've actually been through. You have no idea 
necessarily what their family situation is like, what their health situation is like. And on the surface, they may look put together, but you really don't know what they've come through in order to get where they're at right now. And maybe they got where they are at because they didn't let their problems define them. In other words, they didn't see their identity in light of just their problems in life. When you believe that your problems are unique and somehow more difficult and challenging than what everybody else has ever faced, well, the problem is, is that you cut yourself off from the very support and wisdom that would help you overcome those problems or be able to endure those with grace and dignity. Look, let me say it like this. As long as you fight for your limitations, you're guaranteed to keep them. You're arguing with me saying, but Tom, you don't know what it's like. You don't understand how difficult and challenging it is for me. As long as you're fighting against me to hold on to those limitations, you're going to get to keep them. You're going to get to keep them forever. Look, you are not alone in your struggle. Other people have gone through either the exact same thing or very similar things in life, and they've made it out the other side. You're going to make it through this struggle, but you've got to hold on to the truth that I'm not alone in this. Other people have gone through this before, and there are other people that will help me go through this right now. The second issue we need to bring up is the real danger here whenever life is not treating you well is you start asking yourself, why me? And you can get stuck in a why me mindset. It happens to all of us. You know, you lose your job or your marriage is in trouble or you start to get physical symptoms. You go to the doctor and you find out a bad report. And it's only natural that in that moment you start to say, why me? Why is this happening to me? After all I've done or after all the effort I've put into this, why is this happening to me? This is not fair. We start to believe that life is unfair for me and it's actually singling me out to suffer. Why are other people able to go on with such happy and abundant lives and I'm stuck with so much pain and so many difficulties and hardships? We get angrier, we get more resentful, and we become very bitter. When we focus solely on how unfair life is for us and how unfairly we've been treated or how unfair things have worked out for us, it keeps us stuck in a victim mindset. And when that happens, you're more focused on what's happening to you then on how you make it through this and what happens next. Instead of asking just, why is this happening to me or why me? What we need to ask is, what's next? What happens next? What do I do next? How do I respond? How do I respond now that I'm facing these obstacles or these challenges? The quicker you shift your focus from why me to what's next, the quicker you're gonna to start to see a path through this challenge that you're facing. Another pitfall in believing that your struggle is unique and special is that it starts to move you toward the pitfall of comparing yourself with others. It's easy to look at other people and maybe their life seems to be going better, at least on the surface. It seems like their relationships are working. They have strong physical health. They've got money in the bank and good jobs. And as you compare yourself with other people, you start to become resentful and bitter. And guess what happens? You lose all your joy. All your joy in life will be gone. Comparison is the thief of joy, and it distracts you away from what you really need to be focusing on, which is taking action. When you give up taking action, you give up all your personal power to change your life. You'll feel better about yourself because you'll feel like you have the right in order to stay stuck in life, but you'll feel better, but you're not getting better. You're not doing anything that's going to make your life actually better. Instead of comparing your journey with someone else's, what we have to do is stay focused on what we can control. The common thread of those who make it to success is that they keep pushing through the struggles no matter what. They don't let their struggles define them and they don't let their struggles overcome them. They keep pushing forward, they keep taking action no matter how difficult it is, and they reach out to others to support them in their journey. The only way really through your problems is through your problems. You have to make the decision that I'm going to get up and I'm gonna keep moving even though it's difficult, even though other people don't understand how hard it is, and even though other people seem to have 
all the results that I don't have in my life. I've got to persistently continue to take action, even though it's difficult, even though it's challenging. Okay, what are we saying in this video? We've got to embrace the problem, whatever it is. It's ours, we have to own it, and then we've got to push through it. Realize that your obstacle is not a roadblock. It's, a, it's literally a stepping stone. It, it's in front of you right now, and you're going to overcome it. It just is difficult and you're tired and you want to quit. I understand that, but you can't quit. This obstacle is preparing you for what's coming next. You're going to get stronger by going through this problem, and then you're going to be able to face more problems that are going to continue to come in your life. I know it's exhausting, but you're strong. You've made it through so much before. You can make it through this problem now. When you recognize that your problems are not unique, then they also become not insurmountable anymore either. Look, other people have faced similar challenges. Maybe not exactly the same as yours, but some people have faced far worse and they've made it through and you're gonna make it through. They've succeeded and endured in life and so can you. It's not about how unfair life is, but how resilient you can be. So you gotta embrace the challenge, push through the pain, focus on growth and the growth that comes through adversity and through facing those challenges head on. And this is where true strength is built. It's by facing your problems head on and refusing to let them defeat you. Look, I get it. Your problems are challenging, they're difficult, and I can't possibly begin to understand every nuance about what you're going through right now. But the reality is, is your problems are not unique. Other people have faced these challenges and they've made it through. And sometimes it's been very difficult, but this can be a good thing. Instead of believing that you're stuck and you can never move forward, you now realize that every problem I can face, every problem is a challenge that I can overcome, or I can at least endure through that problem. Instead of focusing on how unfair life is, you can focus on what do you need to do next in order to face this challenge, in order to be able to endure this difficulty. And then shift your mindset away from why me, why is this happening to me, to what's next, what do I need to focus on next in order to take action to start to move through this challenge. Remember, it's not about the problems that you face, it's about the resilience that you're gaining as you continue to move through this. It's about how you respond to these problems. You get to make the decision what happens next. You get to decide how you're gonna face this challenge. You get to decide if you're gonna wake up and take action or whether you're just gonna continue to struggle and to be stuck in your self-pity. If this video resonated with you, please like the video, subscribe to the channel, and also put in your comments how you're facing these challenges and, and how you're finding strength in order to overcome your obstacles. Also, I have a playlist and another video I wanna share with you that I think will be helpful on your journey. And as always, thank you guys. I appreciate you and I'm with you no matter what. We'll make, we're gonna make it through this together. I'll see you next time. And as always, be present to life.